Okay, so the next part of the video, I've got the end cap off the uh, Selly Speed cover. I'm going to use my string again connected to the F1 paddle. I'm going to pull that and you should see the lower shaft moving. Ready? Okay, I get nothing from this. Now, if I push that in, so that's in now. I don't know if it's meant to move or not, but if I pull the paddle with that pushed in, see it does spring out. That moves out. It doesn't go back to its home position. I don't know if, where it's meant to be. Let's try it one more time. Okay. Okay, so this is in the inspection panel and my gearbox. And I'm just wondering if I can set this up. Let's see if we've got any movement in there. Next, I'm going to test the actuator. So I've taken off eight of the seven mil bolts, bolt it onto the side of the transmission gearbox. Let's have a quick look inside here. Uh, okay, so my only kind of query is there. It looks to be worn, can't see anything. All looks okay inside. So I don't know if that is normal or not. They're all lined up. A little bit of movement in it. Okay, so a little bit of wear there. And no, that's okay. So that's inside my gearbox. Then, as you can see, they have the accumulator, sorry, not the accumulator, the actuator off the side. Let's have a look here. And our end shaft. So what I'm going to do, rusty bit of string again. I'm going to try and video. What happens when I pull that? I was trying to get that. There we go. So I don't think... Okay, ready? So, let's see if I can get out of there. Okay, so the next test we're gonna do is gearbox actuator. So it's off now. We'll see if I pull the uh, string here attached to my paddle. Watch. Okay, now one thing to say there is I had manually pushed this, which does this one, into that position. Okay, that's the only way that moves. And then again, watch. Okay, normally, in first gear. 
So you can see this, the bottom shaft, the small shaft moving, but no up and down movement here, which I'm guessing it should do. Uh, and the only way I can get this to move is by manually moving it myself in or out. Let's push that out so we've got it extended there. Okay, ready? Okay, and yeah, so nothing there movement-wise. It seems to be jammed. I'm gonna to go to the inside the car now and see what happens when I press reverse. <clears throat> sounds of it didn't really do much I'll check that back on the video okay so let's try that one more time push that in pull first gear alrighty so that's our actuator Okay, so I'm gonna go in the car and hit reverse. Let's see if there's any difference. Let me check that. So to summarize our findings so far, uh, here's where we're at. It looks like Gearbox side of things, everything lines up in here okay. Our um, release bearing seems to be working. And so I think we can rule out gearbox for the time being. And pump, obviously, we can hear pump is priming. Uh, it seems to be holding pressure, otherwise this would be um, priming constantly. So our accumulator here, our pressure accumulator, uh, is also for the time being ruled out pump ruled out uh, so what we're looking at is either an issue with the actuator itself which seems to for some reason be jammed where uh, the forks aren't moving up and down uh, or potentially one of the solenoids over here on the, uh, the pump itself, um, which is next on my list to look at. Okay, so my thanks to uh, you guys on FChat. Also, a big thank you to Aldos from AV Engineering, who's uh, been advising me in the background what I can check on this car without actually causing any damage. Um, so being able to take this off and uh, have a good look at that and in the process I'm learning the system which I love and so uh, big thanks to Aldos. Uh, Aldos is brilliant at these kind of things so I'll put a link to uh, AV Engineering in the description below on the video and uh, if you're in the UK or if you need some help he's the man.